big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video, but more on that later. you get even just a couple feet below the surface of the water. It's one of my favorite feelings on earth. In the distance, you can hear the whales singing to one another, the faint sound of the wind up above as the trades kick into gear for the afternoon. Further down, you reach a point of weightlessness. The pull to the surface disappears and the sand and the reef stretch out in front of you like an unexplored planet. The Pacific can be a powerful ocean but when it's calm and clear, it's like a magical aquarium. Each dive takes you somewhere new. And bit by bit, I can tell that we are falling back in love with the ocean. Perhaps you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve. Can you therefore understand been getting really into snorkeling lately and Lou even has a cool thing that gets him an email every morning and tells him the visibility of the water um, but we've decided that today we're gonna drop Freya to friends because the little puppy hates the ocean so much and it makes it pretty tricky because the person who is like on the beach has to be like so on Freya duty that it would be a very nice relaxing day to just drop her at a friend she'll have a great time because she loves Michaela so much and then we can have enjoy the beach day. So that's the plan for today. We're headed to the beach now. Right, we've got Freya in the back, chilling. And it looks like an absolutely stunning day after such an intense rainy December. The month of January has truly been some of the best weather we've seen. Um, and I just like hope it stays this way.
Paddleboarding is like another one of the things that has been such a beautiful way to like reconnect with the ocean. And I was like trying to learn how to surf when we first got here, but then with this growing belly of mine, I realized like it's really not the right time for me to learn how to surf. And with Freya too, like we just had a lot going on. So we got the paddleboard for me for Christmas and it's been such a nice treat to just like be able to go out. It's so relaxing. This spot is like not ideal. It's a little too shallow. So you have to like really pay attention. Um, but we have some other beaches that some friends have told us that it's a great place to go. And so hopefully we can take them out and maybe even one day um, we have friends who have extra boards and maybe Luke could get a paddle board from a friend and then we could go out together because I feel like that would be a really cute date. But it's just so special to be out here. The water is glistening and even like next to all this traffic, as you can see it, it, once you're like out on the water, you like don't even realize because there's like so much to take in with the mountains and even whales like jumping on the horizon and it just feels really nice to spend time by the beach. All right, we just made it back to the house. And for dinner tonight, Dana has promised to make me vegan fish tacos. We've had a bunch of visitors lately and they've all been getting like these really awesome fish tacos on the island, but obviously we can't eat those. So she's gonna try and recreate this recipe that we had in London like five years ago, maybe. It's basically just tofu wrapped in nori and then like breaded and fried. And I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna bake ours though. Oh, you're baking ours? Or you think I should pan fry them? I could try like... The experimentation yeah. begins. It's really, it's a very... <laughs> by following your recipe of what we had, it's more like, I remember eating this and let's see if we can... That's what I meant, yeah. that's what I meant. It's like, <laughs> let's see if we can recreate yeah. this one thing we ate four years ago at like 11 o'clock at night in a pub. Yes. On, I don't even know where in London it was. Thank you. 
Okay, propane is back on. Working. Whoa. How'd we do? Really good. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be so yummy. Good job. Look at that. Oh, I'm proud of that. I wonder if our... Oh, Freya, I know there's a cat outside. Oh. Freya, come. Gonna... Don't bark at the kitties. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. This needs to go in. So the meal is coming together very nicely. I ended up making like a shredded carrot salad because I thought I was gonna make a red cabbage one, but the red cabbage had gone off because I had been putting it off too long. But the carrot slaw with, I did had an extra piece of nori, so I like cut that up into little pieces. Um, some slivered almonds, some peanuts, a little bit of soy sauce, some grated garlic, oh, and cilantro. Put that all together. It actually tastes really good and imparts a very fishy flavor, which is like the point of the fish taco. So the only thing I have left to do is I'm gonna to try to make a chipotle sauce. So I'm thinking I'll do tahini. And then I also, I got these. I don't know if you can see that at the store. I've never bought anything like this before, but I have had dried chipotle peppers before, so I'm thinking I could try this, see if I like it, and if I wanted to make it on my own, I just opened it, and it smells, it smells so good. But I might make Lou taste it, because what if it's really spicy, because I don't really like things that are that spicy. So I'm gonna do this, and make the sauce, the rice is going, the tofu's out of the oven, and guacamole's done. So we're really, I think we might have a dinner at a normal hour tonight. Yeah, the tofu thing is actually really good. I didn't think the nori would like help it at all, but it does. It does and it gives it kind of a, like a, I don't know, a different texture. Yeah, it's really cool. That is a win. And I think the carrot slaw is a win. I don't know if guacamole really goes with this. Well, we could try it with the peanut sauce. A peanut chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. like peanut mm -hmm. Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Squarespace has made the process of bringing our blog back to life so much easier. I love putting together this post because I had so many incredible photos Lou's taken underwater to choose from. With Squarespace, you can easily add photo galleries or embed videos with just a click of a button, so your blog looks beautiful in no time. If you'd like to start your own website or online store, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroom for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next Sunday.